Hi everybody, I am back with another CCNL live session and today we are going to see how I can get the LAN and WAN links up and working uh, so that we can connect our routers to routers and our routers to PCs or we can see our end devices. Okay, this is the network topology that I have selected and I have mentioned all the IPs, the interfaces in this network diagram and I have also mentioned uh, the uh, the WAN links, uh, uh, the serial cables, DTE and DCE sides. Okay, I will add this network diagram in the reference of my video. So before going to configure the WAN links, we need to know some uh, messages that we encounter while working on WAN links. The first message is, you know, when all the links are working, they are up and working the second message comes when uh, there are three types of uh, the second message uh, that reads serial uh, zero or whatever in the interfaces uh, is up and line protocol is down and that message appears when due to three reasons the first reason is that that keep alive time is not set and the second is that the encapsulation mismatch occurs uh, means uh, on one side there is another encapsulation uh, working and on the other side of the router there is another encapsulation so this should be a match not a mismatch and the third is the clock rate since we are dealing with Cisco routers so the keep alive encapsulation will be the same by default and, uh, you know but not in case if we have changed the settings but by default it's the same and since the Cisco is working on default so we will only be configuring the third one that is the clock rate at the DCE side like in the uh, diagram so on all DCE sides we have to configure the clock rate and we will suppose that here the clock rate is 64 kbps and the next thing um, I mean the next message is uh, that the line protocol is also down and the serial link is also down and that happens when there is a hardware problem the hardware is loose or it's broken uh, or any other hardware problem and the four is uh, the serial link is administratively down and uh, line protocol is down obviously when the link is down the line protocol the softwares the line protocols are all the softwares that are running on uh, these routers so the administratively down means that the administrator have uh, explicitly uh, uh, make the link down and uh, that happens because all the links on uh, uh, Cisco routers are by default administratively down but we can also make them explicitly down so these are the four messages now I will get back uh, to the lab and I have already made this topology in packet tracer so we will just start by uh, giving the IPs to the PCs first and then I will start by configuring router by router means that configuring all the interfaces on one router then the next and then the next okay so sit tight now and sorry George uh, sorry okay 200.100.50.100 I have selected the IP hundred of all networks as the gateway so I will use the same on all networks hundred on sorry hundred on one for the PC and hundred dot hundred dot hundred for the gateway okay so the sorry the third one and here's IPs hundred dot hundred dot one fifty dot one for the PC and two hundred dot hundred dot one fifty dot hundred for the default gateway okay so now the first router okay here's the router hmm okay so the first thing will be to give it a name go to enable mode go to configure terminal mode and then give host name A and after that 
we will apply command G show int FA00 and it's administratively down so we'll go into interface FA00 and then apply the IP address that is 200 dot sorry 100.100.50.100 with the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and after that the no shutter command to make it live and as we did the link state has changed to app okay and you can verify it there is a green lights working okay uh, sorry okay so we're back and we will go and check the next interface that is serial 000 and it is also a DCE side so we only have two in serial 000 enter the interface and then only the IP address no clock rates because the other two encapsulation and keep alive are already set uh, 1.1.1.1 255.0.0.0 the subnet mask and no shutdown okay and then exit is state is changed to down because the other side of the router is not configured yet so when we configure the other side the link will be up okay the next interface is sorry to show in serial zero zero one and it's also administratively down and it's also a dce side so we'll go into serial zero uh, zero one and then give sorry a clock rate 64,000 that is 64 kbps and then the IP address 3.1.1.2255.0.0.0 and then the no shutdown command oh sorry no shutdown command so there goes the configurations for A now we will go to the router B. Okay, so go into the enable mode, configure terminal mode, and then host name B, and then to show in FA00. Uh, sorry, the last one FA00 administratively down. Go into the mode. Zero, zero and then apply the IP address 200.100.100.255.255.255.0 subnet mask then no shutdown command and there you go change state to up so get back one step and then to show int zero 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 and it's administratively down and it's also a DCE side so go into in serial 000 and then give first the clock rate 64 kbps we have to give the clock rate in bits there's the standard okay and then next IP address that is 1.1.1.2 255.0.0.0 and then the no shutdown and you will see the changed state to up as I told you that in the routing while configuring router A that it's not it shown the change state to down because the other side of the router is not configured so see we have com just configured the other side and the link is up okay so the next is do in serial 001 and it's also in a step till down and it's a DTE side in serial sorry zero zero one and then there's a DTE only IP address two down one down one dot one two five five dot zero dot zero dot zero and no as edge okay no as edge and uh, change it down and that goes for all the interfaces of B2 and after that C go to the CLI and go to enable mode configure uh, sorry uh, 
configure terminal mode and then give host name say okay and uh, after that we will do check on to show int fa interface fa the internet one and go into fa it's gonna be relay down and then give the no uh, oh sorry ip address and that is 200.100 dot 150.100 255.25 I'm not too sorry 255.0 and then the no sh and the link will be up go one step back to show int 0000 and it's also a DCE side and it's also administratively down so go into 0000 and then clock rate Four thousand no SH and also the IP address. We missed the IP address. What's the IP address? Uh, it's uh, zero. Okay, two down one down one down two two five five dot zero dot zero dot zero. Okay, the IP address is assigned and get one step back and after that we will to show in zero 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 sorry one so let me set it down and it's a DTE side zero 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 one and IP address three dot one dot one dot one two five five dot zero dot zero dot zero okay and no shutdown and the link will be up and after that we back back to the enable mode so all the links are up all the interfaces we have configured so now we will check those interfaces the directly connected interfaces ping first of all 200.100.1 sorry 150.1 and the first packet will be lost at the first time but not after that so the first is connected then connect ping 2.1.1.1 and it's connected and that 3.1.2 and it's also working so this goes verification from C router now we will check from B ping it's directly connected first 200.100.100.100 and it's working and then ping the direct look that's it two and one dot two that is C and it's working and then it also is directly connected one dot one dot one dot one that is A and it's also working so there goes the verifications for B and at the end first hundred dot fifty dot hundred okay then the second two dot one dot uh, sorry not two dot one dot one dot one dot two that is B and it's working and then three dot one dot one dot two that is C so all the interfaces are up as you can see in this natural diagram too and we have just verified all the interfaces too so that's the end for today's uh, tutorial I will see you later take care and bye